Until today, Iran's helicopters, planes, and ships have been mocked a lot. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on, boy. My get your goddamn ugly ass on. Yes, most of these projects were reconstructed vehicles purchased from America before the Iranian Revolution. However, Iran has a significant power in the region on ballistic missiles. About a year ago, Iran had also dismantled 27 cameras that the International Atomic Energy Agency had placed in Iran's nuclear facilities. So how did Iran achieve this power? Iran's first contact with ballistic missiles took place in the Iran-Iraq War in 1985. During the war, Saddam Hussein attacks Iran's major cities with copious amounts of Scud missiles. These missiles cause great fear and panic among the Iranian people. The Iranian government, which wants to obtain these missiles, is negotiating with Libya, Syria, and North Korea. Iran supplies about 100 Scud missiles in Libya and Syria. Iran, which supplied a large number of Scud B-type missiles from North Korea in 1988, started to develop these missiles in its own country. The Scud missiles produced under the name Shahab are basically based on the Scud missile developed by the Soviet Union in 1955. Scud missiles are also based on the V-2 rocket, which the Soviets obtained from the Germans at the end of the Second World War. After the war ended, namely in 1990, the missile trade between Iran and North Korea increased even more. Thanks to this, Iran is now developing its own ballistic missiles. In 1998, Iran developed the Shahab-3 missile, which has a range of 1,000 kilometers and uses liquid fuel. Thanks to this missile, Iran has taken all the countries with bad relations such as Israel and Iraq within its range. The Shahab-3 missile is based on North Korea's not on one missiles. And while it had a range of 1,200 kilometers in its first versions, its range was increased to 2,500 kilometers in its improved versions. In short, Iran became a serious threat to hostile countries in 1998. Iran started working in 1990 to attach a nuclear warhead to the ballistic missile it developed. Because the most dangerous thing about a ballistic missile is that it carries a nuclear warhead. Iran continued to develop its ballistic missiles, and in 2009 the Seijie Jil-2 missile appeared. Thanks to this missile, Iran developed a missile with a solid fuel engine for the first time in 2009. Currently, Iran has missiles ranging from 75 kilometers to 4,000 kilometers in its inventory. Iran not only produces missiles, but also continues to buy missiles from North Korea. Apart from the Nadong missiles, Iran also received the 3,000-kilometer range Wasong-10 missile from North Korea. Apart from this, Iran also has Sapphire missiles with a range of 4,000 kilometers, which it uses for space programs. In short, Iran is one of the few countries in the world in ballistic missiles. The entire Baffer Gulf, which is very important for Israel, the Eastern Mediterranean, and the American Navy, is within the range of Iranian missiles. If Iran develops nuclear warheads for ballistic missiles, it could cause serious conflicts between America and Iran. China and North Korea have a large share in Iran's ballistic missile development. Thanks for watching.